Okay, so for some density help, I'm going to go ahead and go through a couple of your guided practice with you. So if we read guided practice strategy number one, if an unknown solid has a mass of 84 grams and occupies 27.9 milliliters of space, what is its density? Okay, the first thing that we should do is go through and make an inventory. Okay, I had a mass. It told me it was 84 grams. It said it occupied 27.9 milliliters of space. You should recognize by now that milliliters is a volume. And it wants to know the density. So that's a question mark. So we have to use our density formula, which is D equals M over V. And now we can simply plug in the numbers that we have. So my mass was 84 grams divided by my volume, which was 27.9 milliliters. Okay. And if we simply plug that into the calculator, 84 divided by 27.9, my density is equal to 3 point, let's go ahead and do two decimal places, which is the hundredth place. 0, 1 grams per milliliters. Okay? Another strategy that we could use to actually solve this problem, so if we want to move on to strategy 2, okay, It's very similar, but instead we are going to use our triangle method. So you take the same information and we have our density triangle, which we know is density equals mass over volume. And so now we're going to simply plug in the numbers to our density triangle. So I'm looking for D. I have my mass. Here's my volume. And so it says to divide. And so that's what you do. You simply put 84 divided by, that's what this line right here means, 27.9, which again gives you 3.01 grams per milliliter. So it's gonna get you the same answer it's just a little bit different way of looking at it. Okay, looking at the second set of guided strategy practices, we're going to start again with guided strategy practice number one. It says, what is the mass of a liquid having a density of 1.4 grams per milliliter and a volume of 3.090 liters? Okay, so again, we're going to go through and simply make an inventory. It says, what is the mass? That means that this time I'm looking for the mass. Anytime it asks you what something is, that's what you're looking for, okay? It says that we have a density of 1.4 grams per milliliters, and it says that we have a volume of 3.090 liters, okay? So we're not always looking just straightforward for the density. Sometimes we're looking for something else. This time I have the density, I'm looking for the mass. Same formula though. Density equals mass over volume. So plug in what I know. I know my density is 1.4, okay? I don't know my mass, so I'm gonna put an M there as a placeholder. And my volume is 3.09. Okay, now I'm simply going to solve for M algebraically, just like this was an X and I'm solving for X, okay? This is a division problem, so I need to remove the 3.090 from underneath the M. So if it's being divided, I simply need to multiply by it so that they cancel out. 
but what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I need to multiply this side by 3.090 as well. Once I do that, my m will be all alone over here, which is exactly what I wanted. And it will give me 